Okay, I'm doing a video that Bunsen has convinced me to do on Sopa. I have not read it, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing the history behind it. The history behind the movement. International copyright used to be protected by a treaty that covered three things. News and reviews. Let's face it, you can't talk about something without referring to some of its dialogue or showing some bits and pieces of it. It's usually better for the companies to have some good or bad press out there so people can make up their own minds. Excuse me. So what? The second was using minuscule bits of people's works for quotes or uh, parts of your own reviews of those works or for subject matter for your own books. It was usually good publicity. Once again, people usually didn't mind. Third and final uh, was parodies, art, and comedy. And since that made everyone laugh and gave you good publicity once again, nobody minded. In the 70s, General Electric bought up a couple of news networks, and these news networks had been airing stories that were a bit critical of the uh, Vietnam War. And funnily enough, after General Electric, who made bo fighter bombers and made them back then, uh, bought up those networks, the news stories sort of changed their tone a bit and were a little more uplifting. What a coincidence. And up until the early 1990s, when VH VHS revolution hit, it was actually really expensive to start, even then, to start splicing together your own uh, videos and making your own presentations with a visual appearance. And up until that point, the, I know that the British Broadcasting Corporation could put in a red note to put the kibosh on a story before it ever went to air. So, what's changed now is that there's a big move against being able to film stuff yourself, so you've got your own proprietary footage of things. And people have also got cheaper access to computers and cameras and the internet. And basically, what's happened is, people now have a case where any idiot can find footage of a politician saying one thing, and then doing or saying another in another place, to make them look like a complete liar. And it's the same with government stories on anything. We can compile stuff to make anyone look bad. And that is taking control out of uh, the hands of the government. It is no longer prohibitively expensive to make your own videos. And it is no longer uh, expensive to uh, distribute them and get people's attention for them. And put along a contrary point of view. That's the one you got to look out for. So, SOPA is just the longest in a long line of pieces of legislation that take away your freedom to splice together your footage to, or footage you find that should be covered under copyright and basically put your point across. Control, control, control. The government's losing its ability to put spin on things as adequately as everyone else. And they're scared to death. And you get Koika and you get SOPA and you get safe, and you get the other acts. How about you don't lie to us, government? Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I hope this has given everyone a different perspective on what could be a terrible, terrible law, and must be opposed, if you want any semblance of digital freedom. It's been good talking to you.